Hello everybody, Nine and a How's everybody today? There's the last you're going to see of the shaggy monkey. She's getting a haircut today. So we're going to make sure she's all tickety-boo and not chewing her feet like she's about to start doing now. I think that's just mostly nerves and stress, but we'll see. She's going to go get a nice haircut and we'll be able to see that gorgeous face again. So anyway, let me fix this camera. I'm in the yard again, as you can see. Gotta pull it up. Watch your eyes. Oh, that's not too bad. Ta-da! It's me. Okay, this story is going to be different. It's um, about Governor Hochul in New York. I know she's an awesome woman and stuff like that, but some stuff happened yesterday. Um, doesn't directly concern her anymore. But before I get into it, let's make sure you're still re uh, subscribed. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. It's right there. It's right there. There's the like, the share, subscribe. And I think there's a ring-a-ling, ding-a-ling over there. So if you want to ring-a-ling, the ding-a-ling, and know when I'm coming. Some people like to have a heads up before I get there, just saying. So anyway, let's get into Miss uh, Kathy Hochul, shall we? So the, she, was, uh, she had an aide that was arrested. Uh, and a warrant served on her home along with her husband and partner in crime. Linda Sun is 41 years old and she's been working in state government between 10 and 15 years. That's what it seems like anyway. Now she also worked for Governor Cuomo's office and Chamber of Commerce, stuff like that. She's accused of using Chinese money and her influence with the state of New York to benefit the Chinese government and she was an agent of both the People's Republic of China and the Chinese Communist Party. Like there's going to be a Chinese Liberal Party. Seriously, don't you find that redundant? The Republicans love to say the Communist Chinese Party because they could just say the word communist. But do they say Putin and Communist Russia? No. Funny how that works, right? Or Kim Jong-un and the Communist North Koreans. You don't hear them say that. But anyway. I go on here. Uh, her charges are violating and conspiring to violate the Foreign Agents Registration Act, uh, visa fraud, alien smuggling, and a money laundering conspiracy. Her husband, Chris Hugh, who, I don't know, H-U, was also charged with money laundering, conspiracy to commit bank fraud, and misuse of means of identification. So I'm thinking, Identity theft? I don't know. That's just me. Um, they were arrested in their $3.5 million home in Long Island. Now, Ms. Sun blocked the Thai, uh, blocked Taiwanese government officials from having high-level meetings with New York officials in high-level positions. You know, like the governor, the mayor, stuff like that. Yeah, she blocked them. Okay, she's Chinese. Um... She shaped New York government messaging to align with the Chinese government and also arranged a trip to China for a high-level politician in New York. Bob Menendez comes to mind. I don't know why. The two of them got paid very well for their efforts and their espionage and spying and shit. She got help for her husband's Chinese-based business activities um, they got tickets for the Chinese opera and the Chinese symphony and ballet whenever they came to town, like box seats, really, really juicy stuff. Um, use of, of a Chinese official's private chef. Um, and actually had him have a specialty made and delivered to her parents' house. Good, right? The laundered financial payments then... Uh, they laundered the financial payments, then they used that money after it was all nice and clean and ironed and pressed to buy the $3.5 million home in Manhattan. They bought a condo in Hawaii for $1.9 million, fancy cars including a 2024 Ferrari. Thought they had to be on order for a while, but if she was here 15 years, shouldn't have been a problem. Um, that fat, uh, fat paycheck for someone who's only serving themselves instead of the people they were hired to serve she served as Deputy Chief of Staff with the Executive Chamber. Her and her husband worked to further their interests 
uh, for uh, China. They received millions. Now, Sun worked in many roles in state government, like in Cuomo's administration, and worked her way up to being Deputy Chief of Staff for Governor Hochul, but was fired for misconduct, and those actions were reported to the police, and Hochul's office is still cooperating with them since the report was filed last year. Um, she, uh, Sun had a LinkedIn page, um, and one of the dates was November 22nd. She took a job at the New York... Uh, Department of Labor as Deputy Commissioner for Strategic Business Development. Imagine, wonder what you could do in that. Wonder. But left in March 2023. So I'm assuming, I'm surmising, that that's around the time that um, she got fired from Hochul's office. But yeah, they raided her house and took, got in there and got all, I guess, computers and all the rest of the stuff and seize their assets. So we'll see how that turns. But you know the Republicans are going to go mental when they hear this. Never mind that Kathy Hochul and her staff caught on to her, fired her, and reported her to the authority. So, yeah, I'm just waiting to see how much this story will get out. Because a lot of the stuff I do, nobody else is reporting on it. But anyway, yeah, she was a former aide of government Hochul's, but she got found out, she got fired, and reported to the authorities. So, anyway, all comes out in the wash, so to speak. Well, they did enough laundry in them too. But anyway, now you need to love you. Be good, be safe. Please take care of you first so you can take care of somebody else. And don't forget to subscribe. Like, 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 like. I love you all. Take care of you first. Have a fabulous, fabulous day. It's beautiful here. Windy, but fabulous. All right, take care.